Okay. I don't solve it very, it's super intuitive. It's really easy. By the way, yeah, OBS is great. I got my son set up on that. He likes it. Trist, I still love your shows. Same. Thanks. I want to shoot that 50, bro. <laughs> You're sweet. All right, everybody here. Zan, you've been quiet. You here? Here, right. I got him. I got him. Grab his dick and twist it! <laughs> See? Ha! I knew it would fucking work. <laughs> yeah. I love the hee haw you just did. Hee ha! <laughs> he hasn't heat his last ha. Huh? <laughs> Okay, guys, um, just to recap, it's been a couple weeks. Um, you're in Harbin's house having whiskey. Yeah. I assume you're all in the house, right? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, and uh, you noticed, or a couple of you noticed, I think it was Cash and Az Azrath um, noticed Holly uh, eavesdropping, right? Yeah. So she heard what Harbin was saying about choosing his side and uh chasing her out, her out of town and you heard her side about uh she wanted to basically replace harbin and that's where we're at right now um i think uh sildar and uh the other lady what's her name uh sister grail were kind of impartial so like they didn't really have an opinion either way i think they just want things to be stable uh because now the red brands are gone there's like you know a power vacuum happening right yeah well flip side though we also did do a motive or a deception check and she's dece deceiving but then again she's a politician mm -hmm. so... <laughs> well and let's check what we already know about are we allowed to talk about this as a group yeah. well yeah because we're doing like <clears throat> we got to do like a warm-up or like intro to get you guys back into the groove so we can talk about it okay yeah, so let's yeah. check let's check what we know about harbin okay when we arrived he's a cunt he's a fucking idiot right he clearly let the gang run the town and exploit its people probably to his benefit for staying out of the way yeah and he's a cunt and he's a, I can't see any reason to leave him in charge of these people, right? She's not super trustworthy, but <clears throat> she seems heavily invested in the town, at least. Her business is here, right? So, yeah. Hmm. I think we ask him around. We might get rid of him for sure. Yeah. I think we were, were we going to go ask around? I think we should ask around. Yeah, what I think, does he want uh, us to do to Harbin? Well, uh, it's just to support an election, right? Well, no. Okay, so like every year they have an election and they choose who's going to lead the town. And it's a pretty small mining town, so there's not a lot of people to vote for or to vote, you know, in yeah. period. So he just was like the guy that uh, stood up and got selected before all this shit came down with the red brands and, you know, the mine and like all that stuff. So... Now that all this drama happened, people know what a worthless piece of crap he is, right? And so, you know, because the Red Baron thing happened, and, like, you guys had to get involved, and Sildar had to get involved. And Halia, you know, she's been trying to run a business, but the Red Brands, you know, kind of threw a monkey wrench and all that, right? I mean, is she yeah. wanting us to help her with the election, or is she wanting us to off Harbin, or, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what did she, she ask us She to asked, do? no, she wants to overthrow or, like, have a... a she said she wanted to have a surprise election or, like, get rid of Harbin now. Like, not wait for the end of the year to come around to, to do the vote. She wants well, to, Well, like, I do say it now. we don't help Harbin, but we don't have to tell him straight to his face that we're not going to. Well, and you guys don't have to do anything, by the way. And the whole reason you're in this, in Phandalin I'm is... I'm not really worried about it myself, Tristan. Okay, so the whole reason why you're here is you're trying to get clues or more information because um, you're supposed to be helping Sildar out in, you know, finding the orc hideout, right? Because they wanted to clean up the roads, remember? Yeah. So, like, that was one of the quests, like, you're supposed to go do is, you know, figure out where they're at, get rid of them. Okay, okay. Can I, could I talk to her again? Yeah, uh, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to thank Harbin for the whiskey. Right, and uh, 
wish him wish him luck in his upcoming election. It's a shame oh yeah, that's that's ways away. I don't know what you're talking about there, but uh, yeah, thanks. Okay, talk to you there. Give me a winky face. Hey, Harbin, this whiskey is <laughs> shit. You got any gin? <laughs> uh, we don't get that <laughs> much liquor down here, so uh, all I got is whiskey. Uh, I'm gonna slip out right now and just go go have a chat. You know? I'm allergic to juniper. Please don't bring down the gym. <laughs> All right. All right, Cash. So uh, you're going to go talk to Holly, right? Yeah. I uh, unlocked it. You can do whatever. I assume we're out of sight, right? Uh, yeah, she's kind of like slinking away because she's like, doesn't want to get caught eavesdropping, right? So. All right. Kind of like your mom. Goat form. Oh, wow. 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 Goat form. Oh, God. All right. Do it, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't doing that. Not, not yet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. We're all waiting here. No. <laughs> you said goat form. Incognito goat. All right. I gotta. I gotta get my my thumb on the on the feeling of the town. Yeah, I feel like if if I you're, you're going to do your screen, that's <laughs> we're I all think... sitting here quietly. <laughs> I, I feel know, like if no. you're just a goat sometimes, right? And you like it, nobody <laughs> like really knows. You just walk into town with us as a goat, and like you follow a random one of us around, and, like we're having a conversation. And you just bam hit him with the screen mid sentence. I feel <laughs> like that's much more of a pine cone thing to do because you're a little asshole. Right. Oh, and by the way, uh, <laughs> by the way, pine cone, your uh, buddy Wolf, remember that guy? He's uh, hanging outside town. Nice. Oh, oh, my little wolf buddy. Mm -hmm. The one that was going to be a mount for uh, mm -hmm. what's it called? I, did anybody else want to do anything? I'm just here with the group drinking because I don't give a shit about <laughs> the politics. Unless one of them's hiring me to fight the other one, I don't really That's fair. care. Okay, I have an idea. Is this an empty room? Uh, that's just like some ruins, cause like, okay, this is this is actually an ancient city that is is like the outside of it's all ruins, so that's just part of the ruins that were here long ago. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this wood line, and I'm gonna do the thing that I've been thinking about doing for the entire time. Now that we have a lull, <laughs> I bring out Twiggy's body. What time of day is this? Let's see. Uh, I think we're uh, in the morning. Okay, we're going to wait till night before we do that. Okay. I was like, oh, no. It's going to start a push fire. Just... <laughs> I'll help you out, Hander. I'll help you out, Hander. I cast Fireball. <laughs> That's not what's going to happen, my friend. There's no one's going to happen. Oh, we're not doing a Groot? Okay. Okay. It's my bad. Um, all right. So am I ta can I talk to this chick now? Or? Again. You may what? talk to anyone you want to. Okay, I did, well, I was going to ask you too. Did she she promise us something for her vote? I think she won't offer you some gold, right? Yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. It was like a hundred dollars. Yeah, something. like a hundred gold each. Gold or some shit. Now to support the, her to overthrow Harbin. And we're looking for the orc camp, right? Uh, yeah. Like that's what uh, Sildar wanted you to do, and uh, I think that's what everybody wanted you to do, pretty much. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, so I just want to ask, okay, I'm going to ask her, if, like, you know, um, less than any gold I need to know where the orc camp is. That's my primary goal here, right? Like, how about you help me with that? You know, resources, information, whatever you can do. Well, if I help you, can you promise me that you're not going to tell anybody I helped you? I think I can do that. All right, I need every one of you to promise me that. Do all of you agree and you promise? Am I even in that room? You tell me, Tris. Like, you keep telling me you're just not doing shit. No, I'm so. hanging out with the free liquor out of town. That's the <laughs> okay, so you're obviously I haven't, I haven't hanging moved. out with Harbin. Yeah, so I'm not in that room, right? So I'm not part of the conversation. Okay, yeah. And fair? I mean, no. No, I mean, you do what you want to do. I don't you know. It's up to you. If she needs to hear it from me, then you can come get me. I'm not going to tell you what she needs to hear. It's up to you what you want to do. 
Well, okay. So the rest of the randomly, I promise out loud, I won't tell Harbinger things. I promise. Um, I just. Uh, all right. Like, so, going to try somebody else's dick. All right. Type in chat. Here? Type in chat if you guys <laughs> nod or agree. They all agree. Yeah. You're not. You're not even know. around, Tris. So shut the fuck up. I'll talk to Tris. After he's done drinking. All right, Lars is like being. You're trying, you're trying to help me finish a contract, Cash. You can speak. Yeah. I look at her and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I just got pulled into this fucking group. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, well, that's good enough for me. Um, uh, or twist your dick, do it. Wow. Fucking You know, I kind of thought she had a dick too, Zan. I want to say, is that maybe that's what she's being deceptive about? She's got that strong wanna... jaw. You see that? Like, it's, see it. I oh, I... is this Victor's secret? I is that an Adam's apple? <laughs> that looks I like I... Ooh. I think I see an Adam's apple there. Dude, we should He's go check her house for a bass. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to bring a bass. Thank you for being good to it, because I was about to say, that is a strong jawline. Yeah, right. One, like, that, yeah. one that bass would be a very, would love yeah. to bring I wonder if she hangs around Walmart. Andy and Walt, yeah. He really wants to bounce his lips off it. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, okay. Back Actually, to... Actually, her face Sorry. and Pinecone's face are very similar, just pale and tan. Yeah, but she's way taller than me. I'm, like, fucking... Wee size. I don't know. Wow. How tall is this bitch? 5'8". <laughs> I'm, um, like, cooch height, bro. Yeah. Not that I'm not judging, man. She's a bit, you know, too old for my taste, but I I'd hit it jawline or not, you know? Basically, ogre, ogre, ogre penis Too size? old? Just because her hair is that color doesn't mean she's old. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's old. She's, she's old. old. Bro. Not old. Old. How old are you, Vera? Oh, God. It says my bio, dude. You got it. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah, my God. Age. Age. Like she's old 31. Okay. Yeah. Demons age like, like Asian women. They don't crack. Not until, like, 93. Then they get... Mm -hmm. And then yeah, it falls you all are hard. just a bunch of young fucks. So their horns molt. Ah, it's terrible. You guys don't want to see it. Oh, right. molting. Let's let's focus. Okay, so right. um, <laughs> Holly uh, uh, kind of lowers her voice and says, "Okay, well, I need to trust you because I'm in a bind. Um, I made a deal with the Red Brands when they were here that I would supply them." with supplies and some weapons if they left me alone and left my business alone. And it turned into this big business for me, actually. And I started making a lot of money. And then that's when I got wind that somebody else was organizing them and funding them. Because there's no way a bunch of drunkards could keep funneling all this money to me, right? And I did some asking around, and I th think there is some leader or some kind of organization that is working in the shadows right now. And I don't know what their motivations are or what their goals are, but they were behind the Red Brands being here. And um, they're now demanding that I take over the town and be their new stooge. And I don't want to be that person. And that's why I was asking for your help to overthrow Harbin. But if you guys can keep a secret, I'll tell you where I think they are. And I assume, come election or otherwise, you have this town's best interests in your mind? To be honest, I just want to run my business. I don't really care who leads. I don't think it matters who leads the town. Um, but I'm being forced to do it at this point. Mm. And I could really use your help. Well, it sounds like taking care of the orcs will take care of both of our problems. I don't know. I don't know who led the red brands. I don't know if the orcs uh, are protecting them. But I, my only lead is their stronghold. And I think that's where the red brands were getting their money and their resources. And I didn't want to get caught. And I'm not a good spy. So that's all I know. You know? That's fair. Well, if you could give us your best effort guess... Uh, and, you know, now that you mentioned you supplied the Red Brands with some weapons early on, uh, could you do the same for us in this task of freeing you from their service? Well, like I said, I, I, I need to run a business, and I've already yeah, 
I've already uh, said enough and done enough, so <laughs> I all I got is is the 100 gold each I can give you if you can take care of this, and you know I don't want to go broke, and I sure. want to keep my business going. So hope you understand. Well, I bet they have something we can bring back to sell you. Oh yeah, have I'm, we gone I mean, to the mansion yet? Yeah, you guys did. Uh, that was where they were hiding out the red brands. Remember? Yeah. Remember um, the secret entrance and all that? All right. Well, if you can give us the information you have, uh, maybe mark it on a map, whatever you can do. And, okay. Uh, then she uh, grabs your map and marks it, and she says, just don't tell anybody. Don't tell Harbin. No, I won't speak a word. Okay. And she walks away. Fuck yeah! That, that was just out of character. Sorry. Fuck yeah! All right. I'm not definitely not hand pumping this guy right now. I'm like, ah, so not, not in the game. I am. I am too. All right, so we have a potential location. Um, I'd like to talk to the rest of the party. Uh, uh, just you know, there's gonna be a lot of fucking orcs there, guys. <laughs> well, we should go get Trist too. So tr yeah, Trist kind of so stumbles. I stumble in drunk. Yeah. So we're gonna help the people that armed our enemy. Well, uh, they are enemy. They the red brands were. I mean, we are they really our enemy, guys? Well, they're all dead now, so I think it hardly matters. It politically expedient or not, right? Uh, arming them, whatever, right? I think that came down to survival and. I think we've all done some shit to survive, yes? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you injected your essence into Pinecone, and now we're stuck with that. Right. How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> he injected me with the essence. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I, I mean, see, he's alive, I, but... Well, I do see a little red dick down there, so... Oh, we, we talked about this, didn't we? <laughs> Is it red? Wait, wait, wait. Are we talking red about Rocket. Vera or Pine Gums? <laughs> Pine Gums. <laughs> you know, you... Imagine it to be brown with green leaves. Are you saying he's got he's got a dog rocket, bro? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> like lipstick? Not yet. What? Are you saying no? Just wait have... till the next battle. Oh, no. Okay, friend. Wait, what did we... Didn't we say something would happen to Hand Hander's character because of my... <laughs> Wait, yes. I my essence. Yeah, I can't yes, what it was. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but I'm just saying he has a red dick. <laughs> I thought it changed his eyes or something. Or wait, no, he grew a horn. And uh, you share a piece of the abyss with him. Yes, you. he is connected to the abyss. I put that into the yep. uh, campaign. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. That's, I couldn't remember that, bro. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Vieira, so where the fuck are we headed? Um, I actually haven't seen the map that got marked yet, so I don't know. Um, wherever that place is. Uh, well, okay, if you guys are up for it, right? I think we're still... Pinecone had an objection. I mean, we're helping the people that helped, that, you know, tried to... Okay, they didn't try to kill us. We, we, we haven't really decided to help all of her them. yet. We definitely yeah. fucking murdered all we of them. We started that fight. We 100%. haven't really decided to help her yet, but we're going to definitely try and figure out where this secret conspirator is, correct? I mean, oh, but... I mean, the conspirator makes sense. Is that the, at the goblin hold, or is it at the... At you the don't know. Mines. You got to go investigate. All right, so where are we going? The goblin. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh. The only place in the group. Let's, go, let's go show Sildar what we found. Where's the Sildar again? He's right there. I'm right there. Chilling, chilling with my raven. That's dope. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. All right. That with a zoom in, bro. Come on. No, I mean just because you say it's your raven doesn't mean double, it's your raven. Double click on it and show you. You got balls. Yeah, your raven's uh, sitting on his shoulder, by the way, Cash. Excellent. I mean, that's dope. I'm glad they're pals. Is, is Tris drunk? Is that what that skull and crossbones is? That's poison. It's in chat. Oh, shit. Whenever you're drunk, you get poisoned. <laughs> <clears throat> Sildar. Yeah, what's, what's going on? 
I young man. You found a potential Loki. Young woman. Wow. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you are, I don't. It's hard to tell. Oh, are you drunk? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's you fine. drinking? I've been hanging out with Trisha too much. I mean, it was free whiskey. I, I get it. Wow. I get it. So listen, we think we found a potential location for the the orc hideout. Oh. I, I show him the map. Well, where where are they? I show him the map. Okay. And he looks at your map, and he says. Oh, I've been there. There's nothing there. Nothing, huh? Where'd you get this information? Hell yeah. Oh, how does she know that? Can't tell you. Word on the street. Well, maybe I should go ask her, because I, I want to know. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? I can't tell you. Trust well, me. <laughs> have you considered she's maybe working with them and sending you into a trap? Yes, that's why I came and talked to you. Oh, well, how can I help you with that? Uh, I don't think you need to. I think we got that covered. You're being very confused right now. I understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go talk to Holly. Yeah. We're not don't do you don't worry about her. We got that covered. And now uh, about you, I, I, am, I am getting worried like, about Holly. Yeah. You're saying there's Listen. nothing over there on their, on the map, so it's then we crit- shouldn't be in well, any of our way I, travel over that way. No, that's why I think it's a trap. Okay, it well, might be it. a trap. But Let's acting, do it, guys. acting now will blow our cover. Well, you want us to help you? The best way to do yeah. a trap <laughs> is to spring the trap, right? Well, then let's go to where the trap is, but don't blow our cover with Halia. We might still need information from her. Yeah, okay. I, I'll hold off for now. I'm going to keep an eye on her, though. Definitely keep an eye on her. All right, let's go spring that trap, huh? All let's right, good luck, guys. <laughs> hey, oh, he's gone. Never mind. Yes, Never gnome. Mind. What? What do you want? <laughs> I love how he pops in like fucking Zeus, bro. <laughs> yeah, he just pops in. <laughs> Be not afraid. I feel like he's listening to us, guys. <laughs> how dare you? Uh, how dare I? What, gnome? Where's your friends? Are your friends still missing? My friends? Yeah, your friends. Well, I think you killed one of them, right? <gasps> we did. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah but did. he sucked. Yeah, he, he did kill her. He was a bad he friend. He fucking man. sucked. He deserved it. Well, I'll be I, your friend, I thank bro. you for that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, what what you guys want to be my friend? Fuck yeah, dude. You're dope, Sildar. All right. Cool. What about your friends yeah. that got taken to the castle? You know, your other friends that you talked to us about a while ago? Have you ever heard of Gundren Rockspeaker? Yeah, I mean, have you found him yet? Have you rescued him? I'm asking, him? have you heard anything? Well, that's that's what I asked you I, to I do. I want to find him. I just can't remember where you I told I asked us you to look. investigate. That's yeah, but I'm what's word on the streets, homie? Well, I don't get out much, you know. I, I'm I'm kind of an old fogey and drink too much with Tristan. An OG. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm just an OG. Uh, I would like to hand Sildor a bottle of whiskey. He pops back out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so God. Good. Enjoy that shit, bud. <laughs> The fucking disappearing act over here. Hey, bro, listen. He's a he's a homie, bro. He's a little cave hermit, but he's a homie. That's what I called him. Hey, hey you're a homie too. <laughs> Thanks. Vanishing <laughs> <laughs> OG. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go out. Let's fucking. Let's go. I want to see the world map. I gotta know where we're going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we're we're oh, well, home. You, you gotta whoa, say whoa, the whoa, words. Wait, we're wait, leaving Fanolin. Wait, Relax, relax. Wait tonight. Let's go. I want to go get drunk. Yeah, go get drunk. Where's the inn? Where is it? Put me I, in the aren't inn. we in the inn? No, the inn was here. Did we, we didn't burn both of them down, right? The fun. No, the all the stuff we burned down was over here. Oh, it's right God. by. It's where uh, Vera is. Oh, good. I'm in the. Okay, I want to get trash in the bar. I'm just yeah. gonna hang out there and get That's drunk. That's what I thought. We were. Yeah, because we burned down all of this shit. <laughs> okay, so you guys are gonna day drink? Fuck yeah. That's <laughs> good. I gotta top off my flask anyway. All right. Uh, well, I deleted the bar, so you guys are in the bar drinking it up. Tristan's already <laughs> drunk. No, I stopped so. drinking. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, so it's time Tris- to start drinking again. All right, I like to pop out and yell, like, Tris, get here, we're drinking. Stay drink. Pop back. All right, do you enjoy them, uh, Tris? No, I'm throwing up already. <laughs> <laughs> Come inside and throw up on, and more some more. Yeah, I'm, there, I'm there in spirit. Motherfucker, yeah, no, no, you're, right? you're there in spirit. <laughs> yeah, in spirit. Uh, oh man, he was drunk before the pregame. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, you guys go in the bar and uh, start drinking and hanging out. Excellent. All right, Anna, do your thing. I can't do the thing. I'm waiting until night falls so we don't think I'm a demon. Oh, well, I guess we spend some hours at the bar. All right, I want a, uh, a 1d20 roll from everybody. Excellent. 1d20, 1d20. Is, is there any modifier or anything, or just nope. straight up 1d20? Fast. Bop. Cha. Ugh. Ooh, dude, dude he's trash Carol rolls. Carol Bass, God, what is this? I rolled two. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, one was good. <laughs> There's uh, someone who... He rolled two, though. So I think it's a... All last right, one. so everybody, uh, ex everybody except Azrath is uh, drunk. Yeah. I'm not drunk. Oh, okay. I could be well, drunk. Okay, wait. His he rolled first... two and he got a three. Wait. He got a three on his... He rolled two dice on X. Hey, I rolled two, but that the one that was a nat 20 came out first. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, for uh, sure. No, I saw it. That was definitely that was definitely true. Hundred percent. I'm back. I'm backing Azareth on this. We don't need to review our game. Prior to this, I was telling Trish, I go, oh no, no, no. Anytime we go somewhere, I don't drink because I also don't drink. Okay, Ellie's not drunk. Whatever. Oh no. <laughs> Party pooper. I look at it. I look at everybody around the room. I'm like, you sure, fucking drink. chumps. Learn how oh, to wait, drink. Oh wait, no, like Out of, if if that was rolling to get us drunk, then yeah, I'm getting drunk. I'm doing some fucking shady shit that night, but... All right, so he intentionally threw his dice, basically, man, so... I aimed to get drunk, too, so I guess that works out. I am. I guess mine... Oh, I didn't roll. Roll? Oh, yeah, I thought you said I wasn't drunk. Oh, yeah, you're, uh... You're okay. Uh, never mind. Not only am I not drunk, but the bartender gave me the entire bottle of gin. Yep, Azeroth is showing up, showing off uh, how much he can drink right now to you guys as you like fall over each other. Fucking elves. Gin is disgusting. Up, <laughs> uh, Zan uh, is not drunk either. Well, yeah, I thought I rolled, but I guess I it just went in chat. I didn't realize I hit enter. Oops. There with it saying R20, and I'm like, why is it going? All right, so I'm going to advance the clock to uh, noontime. Okay, I'm now <clears throat> on the roof of the inn, asleep. Okay. I likes to sleep on the roof, bro. I, me and Nutella are going to sneak out. It's just a nap, though, not like a deep sleep. Do you want me to do a sneak check? A short rest. A couple well, pictures. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> do some droplings right on the roof of the inn. Who, who are you sneaking from? Or, like, what are you, are you trying to... I'm dipping out. I'm from gonna everybody sneak else? out of here. From out. out. All right, I'm yeah. Out. Let's do a stealth check, I guess. Uh, yeah, you got to check against my perception, even though Shit. I'm asleep, motherfucker. Give me that Oh, I'm shit. drunk, though. That's cool. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I'm drunk. Okay, so you... Wait, was that disadvantage? I mean, I could roll it with disadvantage. Yeah, well, well, it doesn't I'll matter. I'll roll another one here. I'll roll another one. I mean, that's probably going to be the lowest, but fuck it, whatever. Yeah. Let's see. I want to see if we crit. Oh, okay. wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, so okay. it is the lowest. I was hoping yeah. you get a one. Um, so you do not deceive anybody, and everybody kind of sees you sneaking away. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 I got this. Where are you going? Where are you going, no. <laughs> hey! I'd like to slide gracefully off the roof, huh? I want a <laughs> athletics check. <laughs> that's, that's my gnome, my gnome uh, sneak away sound, by the way. Just a... <laughs> Alright, Cash, you take one it's HP damage. Damn it. Fall on your ass. Now it looks like uh, someone learns their best, Trist. Oh, I'm dude, passed out. The, the little, the little <laughs> portrait fills up with red now when you take damage. Did you see that? What? Yeah, there's a little slash of red at the bottom of my portrait when I change yeah, my health. No, it's no been there. shit. It's been there. I know that. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Maybe it's because the... I'm better than you. No, I'm just playing. Um, all right, so I'd like to. You can never get damaged. <laughs> I'd like to stealthily follow Pinecone. <laughs> so you're following me. You don't take damage. <laughs> Stealthily. 
Uh, okay. I want a <laughs> stealth check, I guess. So I'm doing a stealth Disadvantage. <laughs> oh, you gonna do disadvantage after I roll? Yeah, you roll. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> disadvantage, mofo. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, right, yes. Cash, uh, you trip and fall and like rent, you get your horn stuck in a fence, and uh, you can't get him out, so you're stuck in a fence right now. I'd like to, I'd like to loudly call for help from Tristan. <laughs> well, Tristan passed out. Is there anybody else you want to call for help? Oh, yeah, Zaraf, he's sober. Come on, buddy. Uh, I, I look, at, I, I look over at him. I'm like five feet away from him. I'm like, oh, mother, God, fine. I'm I'll just gonna stand at the doorway and laugh. Right, or I, I want a strength check. A strength check. Okay. Yep. Nee, 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 nee. Strength check. Oh fuck! It's been a couple weeks. Oh, just strength, right? Straight up strength. <laughs> Ability check. Yep, I'm getting it. Oh, surprise. All right, you get a uh, pull and you, you rip and you twist and you get the horns unstuck from the fence. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there you go. There you go. I got you. <laughs> I'd like to sloppily follow uh, Pinecone. <laughs> uh, before he walked away, though, I groped, I groped her. Oh. oh, I'm okay with it. All right, all right. <laughs> and I will also follow him. Yeah, I want I, I want a persuasion no check, Azrath. You want a what? Persuasion check. Persuasion. Yep. Okay, persuasion. That's one of my good ones. Oh, is he trying to persuade me? Well, if he groped you, I think he's persuading you. I love you. that. Yeah, no, that's great. Oh, okay. So uh, you are uh, very turned on by that groping, Vera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to sloppily follow Pinecone with erect nipples. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your nipples are getting shafts because you're uh, running while they're so hard. Dude, it's kind of chilly out, right? I assume it's brisk. Yeah. Excellent. They're kind Sorry. of showing through the, the they sharp through the, the, that's the definitely rope. How, that's definitely how I see myself as a character. Just, just running through the woods, man. Axe on, nips out, free him, man. Harbin uh, walks out and he starts laughing at everybody. <laughs> that's some good whiskey, huh? <laughs> Your whiskey is shit, Harbin. Oh, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. What? <laughs> I love free whiskey. Yep. So I am following you, Cash, and you're following Pine. So Give me a piggyback ride, right, you motherfucker. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, get up there. Actually, shouldn't Azraz be doing this? Because he's the one you tur you're turned on on. <laughs> what? No, dude, I'm trying to drill holes in your back. I got war nipples on right now. Come on. <laughs> Warn nipples. <laughs> Tiefling, bro. I got horns everywhere. You don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hander, <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm in the ruins. Yeah, I know. What are you doing? You're just chilling. I have subtly put small, small lights, candles around me. Oh, okay. And in the center of the candles, I bring out Twiggy's body. Uh huh. I, I am wearing. I, I put on a hood over my head, and Nutella has another hood over its over Nutella's little head. And we sit there, and we do some weird Uga Chaga fucking dance, and then I attempt to try to use uh, re, uh, the uh, res, Rod of Resurrection on Nutella. I mean, not on Nutella. <laughs> Nutella's not dead. On <laughs> on Twiggy. Okay, so you pull out the Rod of Resurrection and you wave it over Twiggy, speaking incantations to raise Twiggy's decapitated body back to life. I assume you have his Twiggy head, right? It wasn't decapitated. You shredded him. Oh, you shredded it, him. Why does the description say decapitated? 
because you randomly wrote decapitated one well, day and maybe, it just kind of maybe i was stoned when i did that I remember he had what do you he, the me? other one had little razor arm or razor claws <laughs> and he shredded them into little tiny bits and i had to collect all the bits and put it in my backpack yes i remember that okay yep so <laughs> okay so you arrange twiggy's body into roughly the the, the proper kind of sort of shape I yeah guess. that you thought he was in before he got torn apart and you wave uh the wand and i'm looking in your bags right now where is it in your backpack uh it should be in my backpack i know it's in my D, &D beyond backpack okay let's see here why aren't any of my resurrections stuff i see this? it where it's in your backpack oh you do you actually have to like dump Okay, have you used the rod before? I don't think you have, right? Nope. I've never I've never used it before. That's why I'm doing some fucking that's why me and the squirrel are both wearing hoods. Have you attuned to the rod? I can attune to the rod. Okay, but that takes a day. You gotta like or that takes a what, an hour, right? Okay. Okay, so you're I gonna can we that. talk about it putting his butt? Putting up his butt. I even talked about well, putting up his butt and attuning to it. He did that. No, I don't I think don't... anybody ever knew that I had it because I grabbed it and I've been holding on to it. With your prison pocket? Damn. With my prison pocket. Okay. It's okay, been, it is been... now two o'clock and you have attuned to it. And so now you can do that. And okay, you wave the wand over Twiggy and you see Twiggy's body start to tremble and fuse together. And it's slowly, slowly working, but it starts to fizzle and, and stop working. I don't think you can focus that. It's a fucking charge. Uh... Try to get more like narration from you, Ender. It's cool. Okay, Twiggy's oh, back to life. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, All right. I, I Twiggy's alive. I, had, I was trying to figure out what to do. All right, here. All right. Well, you got all these sound effects. Why aren't you using them, Leonard? Because I wasn't on? using the sound effects. I was going to go to so I am the glob gob gob glab. And then uh, I was going to stick the, uh, slam it under the ground next to Twiggy. Like, into Twiggy. In, to in, the, in the dick? In the dick of the Twiggy? I mean, it, <laughs> Twiggy dick? So you, 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 so you you slam the rod into his crotch. Yeah! Okay, the uh, rod of resurrection has now fused into Twiggy's crotch. <laughs> so wait, he's. Oh, no. <laughs> so when anybody dies now, Twiggy has to fucking stab him with his dick. Yep. <laughs> yes. Fucking it's cannon. All right. I it love is. it. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, Hi, friend. Welcome back. Yeah, Twiggy kind of like, you know, hops up. He's got this huge rod for a, a dick down and kind of like he's <laughs> troubled moving around, but he's like waving his hands and he hugs you, Pine Cone. Oh, I give him a hug. Yeah. And, and then, then and then I put clothes over him covering his little wand yeah. dick. He, he kind of rubs his wand dick on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> as, as a dog, like a dog. <laughs> as like I feel oddly like, resurrected. I love how weird he said that. He kind of rubs it on your leg. <laughs> I put my arm I put my arm out and put him on my shoulder but try to cover him off like he's right, he kind of rubs his wand dick on your ear I kind of wait so if he jumps on out of bed you just hear his clank when he hits the <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. all, all you hear in the background <laughs> <laughs> all right i try to act like i'm sneaking back in with him like all incognito as i mm. walk through the town uh, because i, I was don't watching the whole thing so <laughs> what the hell is that <laughs> what are you going with that hand <laughs> don't mind me you gigantic thumb is that thing alive what thing that twig creature uh it, it's it's a it's a it's a 
And puppet. what is between his legs? It's um, it's how I hold the puppet. Uh, I'm going to go back inside. Yeah, look. See, look. <laughs> Grab it by you hold it, you're holding it from the crotch? Yeah. That's <laughs> a penis. Harvey gets That's a little a scared, penis. and he runs in his house. It's a dick. <laughs> it's, a it's a fucking dick. <laughs> He's holding it by, you're holding it by the dick on your uh, uh, pine cone. That is great. Pine cone, what, when did he get a dick? What are the size of that thing, bro? Fucking guy's got a kickstand, bro. As Azrath walks up to Pinecone and he's like, you know, I'm glad you survived the beholder, but you're a weird little fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you told him we get a couple more of those. You told him to install a couple more of those. We can use them as a rake. <laughs> Oh, so you can uh, rake your poo? Yeah, sounds good. It's wow. Good. What? <laughs> hey, wow. you're taller than me, you Whoa. huge ass bitch. I see them <laughs> drinks you fucking dropping three pound turds out your ass. Don't you fuck with it? <laughs> <laughs> Shit's larger, more weight than I am. <laughs> what time is this? Is it the middle of the day? I'm still drunk. Jesus. I, I think it's time uh, we go to the inn for a rest. <laughs> You guys are sobering up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. About time, you fucking chumps. Tom, to chum, chum, chumps. Okay, so uh, you guys want to try resting? Yeah, that sounds yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm resting in the end. Yep. All right. So you guys uh, all go to bed, and uh, it is now 10 o'clock at night. Don't forget to hit your rest. Are we still resting? Can we rest more? Uh, that's eight hours. You want to rest till tomorrow morning? Well, I mean, have we got anything to do at night? Mm, I, I'm going to rest until in the morning. Yeah. All right, 6 o'clock in the morning. Up and at him. Torn to do. All right, dude. You guys ready to head out? It's ready to head out. I'm ready. How about you? Oh, yeah. All right, where the fuck are we going? I've been waiting for you guys to sober up and sleep. You know, I don't fucking sleep, right? Uh, you know, maybe you should try. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to sleep. That's the thing. Do you have a, do you have a time for fun? What's fun besides killing people? Fucking stealing God, shit. Alright, so uh, the <laughs> map the map was marked right around here is where Halia marked your map. Ooh, okay. And I assume she's ex expecting us to approach from the road. Which means we should go through the wood. That is totally up to you guys. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Well, we'd be pretty visible coming in from the road if anybody's there, but if we sneak in through the woods, it might be harder to notice us. Through here. Yeah. Okay, you guys want to head that way? Yeah, what do you guys think? Well, we could go up to Thunder Tree and head down from the river. Oh, God, that's way too far. I mean... Remember, with uh, Thunder Tree, we got those orcs, that gigantic orc army in that area. That's true. I think if she's yeah, trying to surprise yeah, us, she knows we should be there in a day or two. Right. So we should take a while to get there. So I remember, you're right. We were over here before, and there was some like North Army. Have we ever been here, Arcane? No. Fucking maybe we should go that way. Yeah, I, I say we go a long way around. Go to Thunder Tree and around. So you guys want to go all the way up to Thunder Tree, then uh, go east? Yeah. I'm uh, from yeah, the yeah, forest the around Thunder Tree, so I'm down. Okay, you want to stay on the road or bushwhack? Um, uh, follow the sideline of the front. Uh, I mean, it's more direct if you just go right through, you know, the forest directly. Yeah, let's go through the forest. Oh, straight to Thunder Tree? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so you start going that way. We 
at that nice tidy group. And that's about a day's travel there, so you're going to be in the forest. And we're going to do a camp, I assume, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chat with a song. I want you guys to put your token where you're going to be uh, positioned. Tree. And then if you're uh, sleeping, type in chat. Only if you're sleeping. I'm always oh. in this exact same spot every time. I'll take second watch, so. Mm. Did my wolf come with us? Uh, Yeah, I assume he's hanging around. Cool. All right. Just want to know. Just curious. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to the tree, on the ground under the area, and then meditate. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to her first. Oh okay. 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 Like Silveria, why uh, why why do you always kind of separate from everybody when we camp? You just come up here by yourself in the trees. What the fuck's up with that? In case something weird happens. Like, like a oh, tree with a dick. Listen, what? if a portal pops up, wake me up. What kind of portal? Just a wee one. A little demon might jump out of it. It's okay. Interesting. But that's definitely a conversation for the group. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll look at him with a fucked up look and I'm like, fine. <laughs> and I walk back to the campfire. Okay, here we go. All right, you made through first shift, so we're doing a second shift. And you made through second shift. Gee. <laughs> Fucking easy, bros. See, we got sleeping down, bro. You guys see that? I feel like we should get XP for doing so well. Just, yeah, right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about days worth of travel, so you're halfway to Thunder Tree. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, roll and see what happens. Oh. Um, oh shit! What's sir? happening? <laughs> oh, that's bad, right? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that's hell bad. yeah. I, I, I hate when the DM goes yeah after I ask if it's bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want you guys to move your tokens where they were. You guys, where are you supposed to be? Yes. Okay. And then um, we were doing, let's see. So Ellie, Zan are awake. The rest of you are asleep. The yes. second shift. Mm hmm. Except for me, because I don't sleep. I meditate. Right. <laughs> Pseudo sleeping.
All right, let's do it. So is it just supposed to be me and Zan rolling initiative, or? Yeah, I'm setting it up here. <clears throat> we gotta roll like perception checks. All right, I want uh, perception checks from Ellie and Zan. What about me? Uh, okay. Well, I'm never asleep, even when I'm meditating. I'm still. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take into consideration that you are meditating. Like you're not wi eyes wide open, scanning the periphery. Was I uh, awake on this one? Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying? With eyes wide open. All right, Ellie. <laughs> Okay, Ellie, um, you see six hobgoblins coming through the trees. What do you do? Well, I would first tell Pinecone because he's closest to me and the other two are awake. And I'd wake him. And I, uh, do I have enough time to also shake Azareth from the trance? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's obviously not unaware well mostly i wake pinecone and then i throw a pebble at azareth and he goes okay so uh, i want everybody to roll initiative including the guys that are asleep no oh, right let's see oh shit what the fuck Ooh. Zan? Had some bad initiative. I know. I don't know what y'all are talking about. You don't talk about. Talk about. All right. So, um, Triss, since you're asleep, we're going to skip you. And this hobgoblin is going to approach Trist, who's sleeping in the bushes. He's going to attack with advantage. <laughs> well, he's sleeping, he's dodging. <sighs> so the, the uh, hobgoblin tries to. Oh! The hobgoblin tries to chop your head off, Trist, but you turn over and kind of snore and uh, move out of the way really quickly. There you go. Somehow. Noob! Noob! <laughs> I put it in the D&D campaign. This is Trist right now. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Rockley. All right, Azrath, you're up. All right, I'm going to run this direction. And I'm going to yell at Triss, wake up, you fuck. You're being attacked. <gasps> Huh? Whoa. And I'm going to fire a shot at this guy with my crossbow. Ping it. This okay. guy. Okay. Okay. That's a hit. Then I will roll. Damage. 
Oh yeah, max damage on that, baby. Okay, the arrow flies through the air with lightning speed, goes into his ear and out the other, and you see brains and blood go spraying, and he falls to the ground <laughs> dying. Holy shit. <laughs> Take that, you fucker. All right, and uh, that'll be my turn. All right, uh, this <laughs> hobgoblin seeing his comrade die of gruesome death yells, I will avenge you. Oh, it's an highway warrior. Fuck it. And he runs to Trist and he attacks. Is he, is he flashing his rank three note right now? Ching. Yeah. Ring. He's talking shit in chat. Level 10, XP turned off. Then his fucking res segment's not down either. He's ready, dude. Swing, bro. <laughs> Swing, ho! Oh. What? And as he tries okay. to chop your head off, you roll <laughs> over to the right and dodge somehow. <laughs> it's called also a being right a now. fucking hero. Alright, Vera, you're up. Oh, am I awake? Oh wait, you're not awake yet. I'm awake okay. at this point. The large yell. Uh, a... Did I hear him yell? Yeah, but uh, we're gonna go through first, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. It takes turn, right? So. It's like... All right, Ellie, you're up. Great. So everyone is awake now, and I don't like being stuck over here with this twig penis bearing. Druid, so I am going to move over by this bush. <laughs> Twiggy's hiding his dick in the tent. I like it. He's pi he's actually pitching the tent right now. I would like to give uh, my bardic inspiration to. No. Making sure my distance that I can still. Oh yeah, fifty feet. Yep. I'm giving it to Z. All right, Zan, you remember you have Bardic Inspiration. Bardic Inspiration. Oh, wow. I wish there was a way I could give him that as a, oh. No. Yeah, there's a buff icon. Bardic Inspiration. I was just seeing if I could do it, but I don't think I can. Alrighty, and with that, I'm going to, you know, try to... How many feet is this? From where? 60 feet. The one that's, uh, uh, you know, next to Trish, Trish the bush, is that how many feet? Uh... So that is 40 feet. Oh, yeah, excellent. Then I would like to cast a uh, Vicious Mockery at that one. Alright, I'll save. Not nice Mockery, Vicious. Did not save. You know, one of my favorite caves I got to explore once? Your mom's hole. Oh! What'd you say about my mom? Mom! <laughs> All right. Uh, the other hobgoblin on the left uh, runs over to Pinecone. And says, die, gnome. Um, I'm assuming I'm at disadvantage or something. Actually, Ellie woke you up, so. Mm, okay. I mean, yep. I, I just figured I'd be at a disadvantage because I'm not up yet. Up, up. All right, let's see. I think I got you up. That was going to be my first intent. Uh, 
Let's go with the first roll, so he misses. All right. Oh, shit. What, what? Zan, you're up. Okay, I'm going to... Um... <clears throat> Here, and then I'm going to uh, spin uh... and does Andorra already have a hob hobgoblin dick on that necklace, or will this be a first? Right, I'm gonna um, first do one arm on strike on. That's a hit. Right, and then I'll do damn. Okay. And then I'm gonna do. Uh, What's it called? Uh, I'm going to do uh, is Flurry of Blows. That's a miss. And then I'll use... Uh, exactly. What, what's the rule? What what level? Is it still, it's 1d6 now? Yeah, until she gets to level 5, it's 1d6. I believe, right? I believe. That is... What did I recall? I mean... Okay, let's go with that. So roll a 1d6, we'll add it to that attack roll. That's a hit. Inspired! Still alive, but barely. What happens, Anne? Alright, run up. I see Hander get almost clobbered. I come around. I do, uh... A punch in the nose. <laughs> oh. And then I do, uh, when I did the flurry of blows, I did a double kick up his nuts. Check that oh. out. And Hender, do the thing. <laughs> I gotta hear. Grab his dick and twist it! Twist that dick! <laughs> twist his dick! Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll end my Is that his bardic inspiration? Yes, yes, that's what I heard from Ellie. <laughs> In the back of his mind. In the back As his screen was about to miss, he heard, Twist his dick! <laughs> you hear echoing in, uh, in, um, Zan's mind. Oh, dick twist! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, the other hobgoblin in the woods runs out and charges Azrath for killing his buddy. Come at me, motherfucker. Fucking come at me, bro. That's a hit. Ouch. That's barely a hit. What you got? Oh, three, three off. Oh, you sliced me good. Pinecone, you're up. Make sure you take three off Azrath. Yeah, there used to be a way to do it from the chat. Oh really? I'll do it. I'll do it manually. <clears throat> Oh, wait, I got a uh, thing I forgot to do. Uh, an effect. An effect to me? Yeah. All right, I got to roll. Effect. I got to roll uh, 2d6. OK. 
Okay, so add that to the damage. Fuck is martial advantage. Once per turn, the hobgoblin can deal an extra 2d6 damage to a creature it hits with a weapon attack. That's bullshit. No. It's rules, man. <laughs> well, that's fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Pinecone. All right. So I get up. Get up grabbing my face. weapon. <clears throat> and do I even. Okay, so grabbing the weapon, is that enough to. That's my bonus action? Well, Getting since Ellie up. alerted you, I'm going to assume your weapon in hand and ready to go. Cool. All right. Well, then what we're going to do is we are going. My uh, staff starts glowing. And. Grab his dick and twist it. Oh, shit. Okay, I want a. Uh, oh, no, like, not literally. I was just talking about like. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked about that last time. I don't know if you remember. Well, yeah, that was going to be for Zan. Zan uh, is well, grabbing I, well, his dick. It applies to everybody. Twist it. Come on. I mean, would that be an unarmed <laughs> uh, <laughs> special, I'm group with a special attack? Mr. That's true. One. <clears throat> right. Such a homophobe. No, it's just unhonorable. Oh, sure. Soul sword. Got the <laughs> most. Honorable mercenary. Goblin Miner is my nickname. <laughs> All right, that's your attack roll, Hitter? Get out of here yep. for the honorable. <laughs> that's, that's a miss. That's a miss. Yep. Uh, what? 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 Mm. I move. Two, three, four. And do not get a point of uh, um, thing against me because... I don't get an attack of opportunity because of my feet, which is mobile. Oh, really? Yep, mobile. Doesn't say I have to land it, just to say I, I have to make a melee attack. So when you use the dash action, Doesn't count as a bonus action. If he has multiple, if I recall correctly. Oh, for the rest of the turn, does it provoke opportunity attacks? Okay, after he does an attack. <clears throat> okay, so that that's that's cool. Yeah, it was just getting out of his attack. Yeah. Got anything else? That's it. that's all I can do. Okay. End of turn. All right, the other hobgoblin charges and goes for Zan. All right, so Zan, you were sleeping, right? No, uh, I took an attack. And... You're awake, okay. Yeah, I already did my turn. Oh, that's right. That's a hit. Seventeen points of damage. That dick. <clears throat> so he slashes his sword down and slices right into your bicep and gets kind of stuck in your muscle tissue and then rips his sword out and laughs at you. Alright, the other hobgoblin runs up to Zan, does the same thing. That's a miss. He swings his sword and uh, loses his balance. Triss, you're up. I'm 
Am I still laying prone? No, you're you're up. You got your weapon in your hand, ready to go. Because out of the wrath and yeah. Alrighty, take my reliable hue and swing it at the hobgoblin in front of me. All right. What? That's a miss. Oof, not yet, until my lucky die and reload. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seven fucking dies. He's cut them all, bro. Cut them all. Got a stack. <laughs> Let me dig so out my 20 plus dice. Seven. So 17 plus 7, did I That's hit? That's a miss. Seven. What? 17 plus 7? Nope. Yeah. Oh, 17 plus 7? I have a plus 7 to my attack, and I just rerolled my d20. Luck. No. Okay, hang on. You gotta explain this to me. So the okay, eleven is one plus four plus two. All right, let me talk to let me talk to Trist. So you got eleven on the attack first time. Now you're rolling. I re-roll my d twenty. You re-roll it. Okay. Twenty plus plus seventeen plus seven. Because I have a plus seven to my attack. I re-rolled the d twenty. Do you not see the math there? I re-rolled the eleven. All I did was change off the d twenty on that dice roll. Oh, I see. So it's plus one, plus four, plus two on top of the 17? Yes, I rerolled the d20. Oh, okay. Now I got you. Okay. So that's a hit. All right. He is dead. Swing Hugh over my head. I cleave the goblin in twain. Down the middle. Right where God saw fit to split him. Oh. Action surge! Oh, that's right. Damn it, I did my turn wrong. Oh, well. Forget. Roll my dice for lucky. Forgot I can. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Oh, no. So I believe I get to pick between the two of them, and I'm picking my other dice with a swift. I totally forgot I could attack three times. Oh well. Oh my I bad, Zan. Uh, you should let me know. Just let me. Just let well, me know. I forgot myself. It's been a while. So. All right. Yeah. No. I I probably went too fast. No, it's not that. I forgot all about it. How do I have my turn on this UI? Because I can't. So I don't have Sloss UI anymore. Oh, there it is. I see Slasta. Azeroth. All right, you ugly ass hellboy wannabe. I'm going to attack this motherfucker with my vicious rapier. That's a miss. Fuck. I'm going to back up a couple spaces. Do I do get an opportunity attack? No, I don't. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, because I didn't hit him. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm not going to back up and I'm just going to shoot him with my fucking crossbow. Uh, that's. Sh I believe that's a disadvantage because you're so close. No, because I have crossbow expert. Oh, does that counter? Yeah. Oh. Okay. How about a 22? That's a hit. Still alive. Plus my sneak attack damage. That's a dead hobgoblin. So as I swipe with my rapier and miss, I pull out my crossbow, point it right at his face, and pull the trigger, and the arrow goes straight through his eye, straight through the back of his head. I didn't mean to press that, my bad. And there's my turn. All right, Vera, you are awake now. Excellent. I just need to do some measuring here. Let's see. There is a, yeah. That looks right. Okay. Sure. Uh, let me just. Uh, that looks like it hits them, right? 
I can't see uh, what you're doing, so is go that, ahead. Yeah. Okay. Is it? So you're trying to hit all three? Yeah, without smashing Zan's face up. Uh, let's see here. You need to move it a bit. Move them out of the way and see. Uh, Maybe up one, I guess. I don't see how you're going to hit all three without hitting Zan. Damn. So do you got you want to hit Zan? Yes. Uh, no uh, balls. No got no balls. Chaotic. Uh, I mean, Zan will probably live. <laughs> how do you feel about the Zan? <laughs> I don't know. He's taking a pretty fucking big hit. Zan fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be a not big hit. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, let's see, a Constitution saving throw, DC 14. Zan, you're gonna roll as well. Okay, it sounds it good. Hit Zan, yeah. It does, it does. Constitution, you say? Yep. Damn, Zan. Damn, fucking hobgoblins. Okay, so the one in the middle takes a full hit. The others get a half a hit. Okay. Zan, uh, you s take a half a hit. All right. All right, so you take 10 damage, Zan. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good, he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the uh, ones on the outside are dead. What was the DC on that attack? That was a DC 14, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, Zan rolled a 17. Yeah, it's half damage. Half. Oh, half that's damage. right, half damage, but I forget. Yeah, so it's 10 damage. 20 damage for that is a big hit. I <gasps> actually got the full, almost the full damage on that one. Dude, so almost. So their bodies just start shaking and reverberating with the shatter spell and this painfully intense sound blows their skulls apart and brains go flying all over Zan. <laughs> and the that was one the hob you heard come out of the tree, sorry. <laughs> and the one hobgoblin <laughs> remaining is in horror. And he's fucked up because he took 20 damage. Took 10. Oh, he saved. Never mind. Yeah. I thought it was two saved and one failed. No. Uh, yeah, it was two saved and one failed. Yeah, that's correct. Just one of them was already, like, I think they were both damaged, right? I oh, think that's two what saved, they... one failed. Okay, I got backwards. So, but no, he's dead anyways. Let's see. This guy is yeah. alive. Yeah, it's just because they were both damaged, I believe. That's why. Or the other one was damaged, that's why. That's what it was. I gotcha. So, yeah, what? there were both two of them were... Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so those two are two dead anyway. I just want to make sure we're on the right page. Yeah, yeah, yeah it should be that way, yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt your narration. It sounded like it was getting good. Oh, I'm done. Oh no! I thought it, it one was one getting good. Hands blow up. What happened to that guy? He's in horror, with brains all over his face, dripping down. He's looking at Zan, shaking Let's his head. Let's I mean, my song did describe how you like to polish your staff and then produce magical rays. Who's that? Brave, 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 Sir Robin. What is that? All right, Vera. Uh, anything else? Oh, I have an axe. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna stay in the tree. I laughed already, so I got I got my licks in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, Zed. We'll come back for you. LA I would like to visually mod that one. OK, 
Okay, let me do a save then, and it's a DC 15. Don't do it. Do you eat? You're not gonna do it. No. Nice. Your mom is so fat that when she wears yellow, all the dragons from the realm come around to hoard her. No! <laughs> the hobbit with braid all over his face starts crying and has a heart attack from his depression. <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay, that broke me. I'm... That was good. <laughs> Fucking good shit. All right, grab your oh, experience, guys. God. I wasn't expecting that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, everybody should be at the same experience. So, what do you guys got? Uh, five, five, three, nine. Five, five, three, nine. I come up with more pun, uh, your mama jokes than I get to actually viciously mock people in a night. So, someday you'll get to hear all of them, and they're they're horrible. Glory. Uh, how about a long rest and a fiver, yeah? Yeah, let's take a break, guys. Yeah. Uh, five minutes will be, uh, right back. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good, Ellie. Oh, uh, that kid, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> right back. I've killed some fucking animals.
we all back yet? I feel like it's been a minute. <laughs> I am back. Yeah, I've been singing in the thing boop. Yeah, no, that's why I, I was like, uh. <laughs> Yep, I'm ready. All right, Lars in cash. I'm back. Sorry. Good one, Ellie. What was that? I said, good one. Thank you. I was still giggling about that last one. <laughs> In fact, I didn't hear you. I'm laughing at my own joke. Those are all very nice, by the way. They're hilarious. I have a strange mind. It works. You guys leave me to my own devices, okay? That's your fault. For cash, I want everybody to roll a perception check. Oh, that was almost 18. Damn, Zan. Nice, Zan. Perceptive pass, motherfucker. All right, when Cash gets back, we'll proceed. I'm back. Okay, I want a perception yes. check. Oh, that's right. I have to feed the Kiki. Little Keeks. Little Kiki. I found out I was underfeeding him. Okay, as you're um, just walking through the forest, taking a piss, uh, Zan. <laughs> you're uh, noticing there's something off of the distance and it looks kind of big do you investigate yeah okay nice. you see down by the river below you, an ogre drinking from the water. He doesn't notice you. Is that massive on anybody else's screen? Yeah. Okay. That's an ogre. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> He's a big fella. I see you there, fella. What do you do? I whisper to um, Vera, look over there. There's an ogre. Oh, fuck, dude. I ain't never fought an ogre before. Just, just look at that ogre. I hear ogre dicks make great clubs. That's what I heard, too. I wonder if he's alone. So the uh, ogre finishes his drink, kind of looks around, scratches his butt, and starts walking away. Andrew, give him the coat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to 
Do the, the goat, goat call. Goats are heading south, okay? Give the goat, Andrew. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll unpause it. You guys can move. Just don't go crazy. Yeah, that works. This, okay, this so is a tree. Okay, wait, wait. Hander, did you just do the ghost scream? Goat scream. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. And I mean, I did just <laughs> sing a song where I screamed a woman's name, Madeline, pretty loud. Oh, I didn't know you were screaming that. I just I read it in chat. Yeah. No, I'm pretty singing. deep into my song right now. I didn't even uh, really notice what you guys were even talking about. So fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the ogre hears the ghost scream and he kind of starts walking your way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do? I will. Uh... It's an MMA fight, dude. Hey, ogre. This is now six second blocks here. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, just, I wanted to get in a tree, but I didn't have time to move. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, um, no, no, no. Okay, no. you're in a tree. Stealth. Excellent. I'm just stealth behind a tree or some shit. Here, I'm gonna just. Watch it. I got this. Up in a tree. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I would like to head out to this clearing right here, Arcane. Okay? Can't mark the map. I you would can't like to ask the DM if the evergreens right that there. I'm standing behind are sufficient. I'm doing oh. view. the red one. How do you get a fucking zero? What <laughs> the fuck? Dirty I'm zero. Non perspective. <laughs> you non perspective. What a fucking dish. idiot! <laughs> oh shit! I just looked at his perception. Yeah. Okay. He's a moron. It's negative two. He has oh, no I got brain. This. I got Look this. at his head. He has no brain. <laughs> That's why I would like to walk out into the clearing. Can. You put me here on top of the rock, too. Uh, ping it. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll let that slide. All right, Trist, uh, ping where you want to go. It's really not letting me ping. Right here, Rich. I'll unpause it. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, that's close. Yeah. I'm trying to expose myself. Yeah. Um, he <laughs> he does uh, he does dimly perceive you, Tris, but it seems like he doesn't have good vision either. Can you turn into a What do you say, Ellie? Would he perceive it if Tris inserted his sword into his anus? We could find out. I'd like to be in this tree, actually. That's, that's okay. All right, go I'm just uh, um, make, make him jump. Make him jump Wait. the water. Oh, no. <laughs> so I, I jump on the rock. I raise my hand over my head like a Gabby stick. And go, actually, this, this tree, this tree okay, here. right there, he sees Trist and he goes, Rawr. And I go, Rawr. back at him. <laughs> he didn't, okay, he didn't see me fucking Gabby stick. But then he starts pounding his chest and combat begins. <gasps> mm. Pound my chest back at him. I saw it, Hander. I saw it. Mimic him verbatim. I saw you go fucking Tatooine guy. Hey, did we get a rest before oh, we oh, took oh. break? Yes, we did. Yeah, everybody got a rest. So reset yeah, your stuff. Fuck. Oh, I need a long rest. Hold on, I don't. Look at that initiative, bro. Thank God you can't fucking crit an initiative roll. Look at my beautiful dice. Oh, it sucked. <laughs> don't look at it. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Pinecone, did you roll? Yeah, I think it was the first one to roll. Okay, it did not it register on my 17. screen. Oh, it's a 17. Like... Now, let me update your initiative. He's always fucked I mean... up. Nice. Well, no, I when don't... you said you initiated combat, I immediately rolled initiative. Oh. So I think I might have pre Oh, that was before I did the combat. Okay. The gun. Yeah. All right. Shit. Fucking hair trigger. Man. That's rough. You did... Switch off, bro. Switch off. Yeah, literally. Hair trigger every time our game goes, and we enter combat. Pineco goes, Bdoo! so that's like real life initiative right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's in his blood, dude. You can't. You... I almost think he should get plus one just for having rolled that quickly. 
Anywho. Man, All I right. figure I'm, we, we, we got to fight, right? Oh, yeah. Do this. For my right. I mean, that's an ogre. Right? I'm not going to pass that. Can't be worse than a beholder, right? <laughs> I mean, he just looks like a bald headed motherfucker with big ass canine teeth. Well, I mean, he does have like a sideburn. I want to see Zan wear his I think that's like just a, a sunken jaw from his extra term scarf. <laughs> oh, no, he's totally he's totally got some sideburns going on there. All right, so it's my turn. Yes, it is. He's totally a Jeffica. Uh, can we unpause it? There we go. Oh, shit. I'm going to move right here and I'm going to yell at Tris. What the fuck? Why'd you piss it off for already? Fuck, we Just been here shoot like it. Now. Distract it. God damn it. All right. I'm going <laughs> to use my. The ogre looks back and forth between you two, like, oh. Look at the ogre and go, huh? He just, like, looks at you and drools, Trist. Look at him and drool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use my steady aim to give me advantage on my attack roll. I'm going to fire my Trace, I just give you inspiration. Not that you need it. <laughs> Trist gave me inspiration. All right, advantage on the attack roll. 23. That's a hit. Max damage oh. and sneak attack damage. Fucking dice, bro. Oh, look at that. 20, 20, 22. What a fucking stab. Oh. sneak attack. While wow, he's looking at me drooling. Uh. <laughs> As he's looking at Tris drooling, I fire my crossbow. I hit him square in the side of his head. Look at that ear hole. In the ear hole, and as my bonus action, I will. Oh shit, no, wait, no, no, no. Cause steady aim is my bonus action. All right. And I will end my turn. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do it. Um, can you? Like, is this a ravine down in front of me? Is this That's a, a river. river. That's a river. Okay, a river. To, like, it shows, it's 10 foot wide based on the map. Can you mm -hmm. describe that? Yeah, it's a 10 foot wide by... It looks like about a 10 foot deep river. How long can I jump? What's the game's jump? Uh, jumping is a strength check. And let's see. Here it is. So a number of feet equal to your strength score. If you move at least 10 feet on foot before you jump, so you would have to run back then run forward, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so your strength is 18, so that means you can jump 18 feet. Do I have enough to move and hit right here next to him? Uh, that's on the embankment, so I, I, I think if you do that, I'm gonna ask you to do an agility check as well, to make sure you don't slip on the bank, the, the, you know, slippery bank. Then I am going to taunt him by drooling, pulling my dick out, swinging it in a circle like a helicopter, and then putting it away, and then readying up. He looks down at your dick and goes, "Whoa." He kind of like scratches his ass. I am ready to really attack. Okay. So the ogre um, runs and jumps over the river. And I'm going to do an agility check. Or, I mean, Dexter. Uh, Say what? Sorry, I was actually walking the dog out real quick. 
So you jump across the river, and I'm going to take a dex check? No, I'm taking a dex check. So he passed, and he's on the bank. And he's going to attack you, Trist. Mm, I got a ready attack. I get to swing first. Okay. Oh, mm. uh, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I'm using Quick, my pushing, I'm it. using my pushing attack. I thought you were attacking with your Q. I did, and then I can add a superiority dice and use my push attack. So when I hit with a weapon attack, you expend one superiority die to deal an additional dad to the total damage roll. And if the target is large or smaller, it must make a strength savings throw DC 14 on failure. You push the target 15 feet. Okay, that's a maneuver. I'm going to use that as well. So I'm going to spend the superiority die, which is 1d8. Add that to the total damage. Okay. Which you haven't rolled yet. So DC 14 strain check. So four plus. Oh. Oof. And I knocked him down. Dude, I hit him for 20, 21 and I hit him back 15 feet. Right. And I, I, would throw that, I would say that throws him in the, the river. That was the goal. And he <laughs> lost 22 HP. Nice. As the ogre lands next to Tristra and he takes Hugh and chops it across the shin bone. The ogre screams, and he shoves his shield in his face, throwing it backwards, tumbling through the riverbank and down into a stream of water. Mm. You. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so let's see. Where's the damage roll, Trist? Where'd you get the damage? So Hugh damage roll, sl- slashing critical strike, 17. Oh, there it is, 17. Then I had the D1D8 above that, which is plus four, four. plus he's lost one HP from Yeah. Failure. Okay, gotcha. 22. Okay, and um, he is now standing waist deep in the water because he's so big. Oh, he's thick, bud. Well, uh, before I end my turn, I'd like to go. Yes. He stares at you and just goes, oh. <laughs> All right, Pinecone, you're up. All right. So. By growth. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, da, da, da. Intentionally avoided both of them. Must make a wisdom perception check against your spell save DC. Just to see it. Oh, to see it. Okay. Oh, but they can't see it at the time. Oh, yeah, that, that was the same way you do at the runes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he does see it because he's there, right? Any creature that can't see the area at the time the spell is cast must make a wisdom save. Yes. But he's, okay, but he sees the area where it's cast. Okay. Yep. All right, and I uh, guess that's it until he moves. All right, and uh, Twiggy jumps off, uh, jumps, spouts his head up from around my back and goes, "Yeah!" Twiggy speaks. Wow. I'm. Sh- I mean, he, that's not really a speak. It's more oh, like a, like a psychic scream. It's. I, I wouldn't say it's spike. It's psychic. It's just yeah. It's a noise. Viera. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Vera uses her psychic powers to assault the creature's mind. Ooh. Do you 
AC 14 intelligence saving throw, Arcane. Oh, yeah, he's a moron, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got five intelligence. Still alive. All right. I fucked him up, though. Okay, his mind the, is wrecked, uh... and he's somehow even dumber now. Yeah, the ogre grabs his skull and shakes it. Like there's a fly buzz around it. So you hear a rattle on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like aluminum can throwing like pot falling down a pipe. Sounds like he just broke some glass. Like it's the last part of his brain. Oh, that's a good one, Ellie. Excellent. All right, and that's I believe that's going to be the end of my turn. Ellie. Oh, he's still alive? Dang! I thought for sure, you know, all that encouragement I was giving you guys were gonna... ...take care of it before I had to come out from behind this rock. So... I mean, he is taking some fucking damage, though. And he can't really move, or he's I thought it is the rock between me and Zan. Can I see Zan? Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh... I mean, the one in front of me and the ogre looks yeah, tall, Yeah, you can see him. I think one... between the two, you can, yeah. All right, good, because you know what? I, I believe in you, Zan. Aw. I think, I think you're going to do great things, okay? <laughs> and uh, with that, I'm just going to try and lay the, lay the groundwork for what is to come and poke around my head, you know. By this tree stump or mushroom, whatever it is. Get to get the tree stump. And I'm gonna viciously mod this room. <gasps> Alright, let's find out which wisdom this guy has. Oh! What? What? That's a crit! <laughs> what? What? I'm speechless. We got some lucky dice in this fight, don't we, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that fucking ogre, that's the second crit he's th thrown. He's got some bullshit, that's what <laughs> it is. Hide. It's my new mod, After guys. that embarrassment, I'd like to hide back behind my rock thing. Cool. Yeah, you're kind of laughing. Oh, Dan, I believe in you! Feel inspired. Do it. Down. Oops, ignore that, please. I think I almost clicked something too at the same time. Shit, I mean to do that. Move down to here. Why'd you do that, guys? delete it. Well, that's what I'm gonna do on my next turn anyway, so I guess I'll just click on that. And I am going to do Fire Breath. Oh, oh Breath of the Dragon. Actually, that's not what I'm gonna do. Let's do Breath of the Dragon. Watch out, guys. It's gonna be good. Alright, Dex saving throw DC 12. Fuck you, Ogre. Let's see if I can do it again. Nope. Yeah! So, what happens, Ann? I come around the rock. And it's gonna be acid damage because there's water. Mm. So, yeah, acid damage it is. <laughs> so, you just like shoot acid out of your mouth? Actually, no, I pulled down my pants and it comes out my butt. Holy <laughs> shit, you like bend over and shoot it out your ass? Yeah. Oh man. I had a nasty breakfast because of, um, of, uh, Twiggy had put shit in our, our food the day before. <laughs> Twiggy shared your food too? Damn. That's like magic poof. Magic poof. <laughs> But it's not poo, it's like the wet one. So like when oh. you do the, the nasty wet, it just shoots. Shoot. Thanks for describing. <laughs> I'm intrigued, <laughs> where is this going to go? And it just goes right out all over his, his face. <laughs> all right, so you just like shoot it 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet, exactly, in a straight line. All right, roll your okay. damage roll. 
<laughs> All right, the uh, acid chart that Xan lets out goes all over <laughs> this ogre's body and face and just disintegrates his body into a skeleton that floats down the river. Oh, he died? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Grab your experience. You quick. Holy fuck. Well, he took some big hits. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... Uh, fucking... It's an ogre. Yeah, I was but expecting was expecting to be like fighting this dude for like half the rest of the night. <laughs> All right. Dude, you got me and Trist, man. We're the damage daddies. Yep. Well, we hit pretty. We got lucky on the two big fucking hits. No uh, loot? No wiener to collect? Jesus. Uh, well, yeah. He fucking melted him. He, uh, mel he melted. Well, in the river. He, he was in the river. No, no, I, I told you guys a few weeks ago, you probably missed a tryst. Um, the mod they have for loot is broken, and every time I re-enable it, it causes problems, so I'm keeping it off permanently. Oh. Until Dude, I upgrade. Bro, you should just have us roll off of these uh, loot tables, man. Uh, I mean, I've been hooking you guys up pretty good with gold, and I've been giving you tons of loot in town. Suck it. All right, well. <laughs> I remember that, Tris. Wonder how much you are attached to Hugh at the moment. Oh, well, oh, I, want Hugh. I want Hugh. I want Hugh. Don't take it from him. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't want it right now. I want it when he's done with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, house. Bear logged in earlier. He definitely took Hugh. All right. So you guys want to head straight to mark on the map or do you want to go some other direction i feel like we should circle around right than you guys thunder say, tree thunder up tree up the creek or you know what i mean let's just, yeah let's just go to thunder tree why not wait Have yeah we... thunder tree and go around yeah yeah we want to go we want to go up the river right river yeah so up to there that's what we said we were gonna go is thunder okay. tree right there. Yep. so you guys are gonna camp there yeah yep yeah yep. all right let me do my rolls Let's let's try to hit 900 XP worth of mobs between here and there. You know what I mean? All right. And you guys want to head east? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's about a day's travel right there. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh. No. Oh. All right. And then now where? I assume it's south into the woods, right? And we All want right. to do this sneakily. All right. So once you get close to the mark on the map, you're going to be stealth, right? Yeah. Okay. Because we're expecting a trap, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you travel all, almost all the way up to the mark, and it's nighttime. Did you want to go in at night or camp for the night? Mm. Oh, let's... Uh, oh. Well, I right say we go in under the cover of darkness. Vision. I also say we move under darkness. Yeah, let's do it. You want to do it at night? Yeah, okay. I have dark vision, so I'm good. Oh, we yeah, all do I have dark Chris. vision. Mm, nope, not me. Oh. We all do with Chris. Dark vision. It's dark vision. <laughs> Whatever. Bro, let right. me let me be bait. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I will burn this forest to the ground. So my homie can see during a fight. I don't care. I was kidding, Andy. Don't tell Pinecone I said that. I was taking a piss when you said that, and I was gonna say, "Hey, hey let's not fucking do that." <laughs> right? And then I was know, also gonna say, "Dude, I'm just I like I'm the Andrew in there. front of the group by like 60 yards or 60 feet, you know." There's no bait like blind bait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't even know when it's coming. Well, it's believable, right? <laughs> I can even light my my uh, lantern there. Not through that. You mean track. the? Yeah, you don't have that. Or the beholder's place. I'm blind in the back. Here, do you want my moon touched rape here? No. No, it's the way we're sticking to the original plan. Okay, the moon this touched. the way the D&D &D gods intended, okay? The moon touched uh, rep 
Rapier has a uh, 15 Lower. foot radius of light, dim light, right? Okay, so. It yeah, it's a, it's a bright light, 15 foot radius, and then dim light for an additional 15 feet. All right, Trist, I'm going to give you some vision. That's what you get. Not a big difference, but it's a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this with you, Azrath. Let's see. There we go. All right. Oops. Oops. <laughs> All righty then. All right. Go ahead and move as you please. All right. You gave me some too, right? I assume. Uh, what do you have? I have dark hey, vision. Dark Come vision. on, boys. I have dark vision 60 feet, but I don't Same. think I'm seeing 60 feet at all. Same. Okay, I oh, no, but I think 60 I got a ring dim on, on 60 dim on cash. Oh, good. Okay. So you do have 60. Let me check Ellie. Vision is 60 dim. Excellent. Wow. Does yeah, that I also in? have uh, dark vision. Yeah, but yeah, we also have, don't you see that, r that ring around us? Yeah, you see yeah. the ring. Just me? No, it, yeah, you should see the ring. So, like, when you move, yeah. pause it for a second. Uh, you can see the, you you'll see a ring moving. Yeah, no, it's, it's very very small. Uh, yeah, that's that's your light light vision. So, Ellie, like if you look at Tris monitor, you might see the difference between your screen and his. I don't know. Not yeah, it's, maybe when I move more in the map or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you, you'll see it when you move. If you just move up one, Ellie, you'll see a circle move. You can move. Aha, uh -huh, there. Yeah, I had to get more in screen where it wasn't really showing me. I was like off Oh, screen. yeah, I don't have a light circle at all. I can see one around Azrath, but not me. Yeah, you don't have Do you have a light source? You don't need uh, a light source. Yeah, no, no, we've no, only no. got it dark to dim. Okay. Azrath yeah, has a light source a from, light. His, from his sword. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not what you're looking dim. for, Cash. It's it's the, there's a different shade of color on the screen that you'll see. They don't like to be called that anymore, Zam. Is it yeah. light shade gray of color. and dark gray? The shade of color. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is the light gray and the dark gray? No. <laughs> I don't see colors. All right. Well, let's just ignore <laughs> the lights for now, guys. And oh wait, I didn't zoom out far enough. I'm a fucking moron, dude. Ah, <laughs> you're looking all black. Oh, oh god. No, I would like to stay semi close to Azareth because he does have a light source. Yeah, but don't we want him to keep that sheet on the bait? Hmm, that is a good point. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I'll just kind of keep eye on me, let him capture me, maybe even tickle my butthole and then jump him. Well, we still don't even know if it's technically a trap or not. We could just send him in, maybe. Zane's just running off. Yeah, but if I have my sword out when we sneak up on them, they might see the light from my blade. Yeah, put it away. All right, I sheathe my sword. Yeah, but then... Okay. okay. It's cool, it's cool. Triss, if you can't see, just hold on to my cape. Oh, I'm going to go ahead stumbling in the dark. I'm the bait. Oh, yeah. Are we hiding? I am. I'm going I from am. tree to tree. Okay, oh, bimbly, bimbly. I want uh, stealth bimbly, checks. Bimbly. I am not stealthing. Okay. I want stealth checks from people who are stealthing. Mm. Uh, there it is. Twenty six, baby. No, I stepped some on uh, on some twigs. Uh, was it twiggy? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, right. the only problem with Twiggy is, is just, <laughs> just, he, he has that long drag mark everywhere we're going. <laughs> Easy to track. <laughs> that, means you did, that doesn't mean you didn't stealth, right? You just got to get perception. I just can't see. His okay, dick, so the bro. reason the reason why let me just pause it. The reason why I had you go do a stealth check, Trist, is because there's possibly something coming up, right? I don't know. Excuse me. You're close enough to Tristan, you could just blame it on Trist. 
say, oh boy, shouldn't have stepped on that stick, should I have? Like, obtusely loud. <laughs> Ow! Stumble over a rock. Where'd everybody go? All right, uh, right about there, um, you start seeing a structure to the east. So in front of you, uh, Zan, Triss can't see shit. <laughs> Do you proceed forward? What is it? Some yeah, kind of structure in the darkness. Okay. Darkness. I would like to... Uh... Do a perception check on it and see, I guess. Okay, you're seeing the outline of a castle. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes, I would like to go towards it. And I would like to know, <clears throat> and I speak to everybody, yeah, let's go over here and check this castle out. <laughs> I'm assuming you're whispering that very yeah. softly. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'll just say, like, um, I move to everybody, and everybody gets together close to me, and we'll, like, I'll go to each one and tell us to go east t towards the castle. All right, give me a second. For some reason, I can't get the night time to work, but we'll just keep going forward here. Let me get everybody on the map. All right, you're uh, up against a castle structure. And if you see things, it's on purpose. You don't have to ask me if that's, you know, okay if you see things. I see things. <laughs> Fuck. Nice play. <laughs> guys, guys. There's a bestial creature inside of Grendel. Hey, hey, Castle listen. Wall. So, uh, above you guys, the hobgoblin <laughs> peers through the arrow slit down in your general direction because he seems to be hearing some kind of sound. Fuck. Hello. I am the glob, glob, clap, clap. Yes, Lord, whip, you fucking hope. Sweet, hurry up. Jesus fucking Christ. Fine. Wow, we're I'll getting new ways. Talk to me, guys. Uh, you just saw me cast a spell over there. Okay, hang on. The ground. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my next vicious mockery insult, so I just cannot wait to be in battle. Okay, I think it's you have to. It's gonna be fucking good. I think you have to have a line of sight, and that's above you, right? I do. Line of sight was right here. That was my casting spot. No, I mean you're he's down saying, below, looking through an arrow slit. 
because he can see into that room. It looks like it's at eye level. It's yeah, it's not. It's above you. All right. Yeah, they're looking down. I said they're looking down at you. Oh, that wow. really changes that. Yeah. Door went down. You can't see him. No, we can see him. He said that. Pull his bitch ass down here. Well, I guess I'm getting that spell back, right? Oh yeah, no, we're we're just still talking about uh, what you're doing. Okay. Okay, I got another idea. Does it involve a whip? Let me ask you something. What's the structural integrity of that thing? Well, it's kind of like a ruined castle, so the wall uh, nearest Ellie is crumbling and falling apart, and the rest is, is there a up roof. There, there is a there's a roof. Yeah. How much damage would one have to do, do you think, to bring that fucking thing down on them? Uh, you'd have to experiment with that theory. Hmm. Fireball. I don't have that yet. But Man. I do have a pretty powerful, like, shatter or uh, chromatic orb. I think that'll work. Okay. Um, could I try hucking it at the wall and see if I could bring the roof down on top of it? So you're gonna attack the wall or attack the roof? Uh, I'm not sure which one I'd have to hit since I can't really get a good look at it from where I'm, my character is. Well, I'll, I'll let you aim for the roof side of the roof or the wall in front of you. Okay, hit me, let me hit the wall in front of me. Okay. Uh, let's... Let me throw it up there. I'm gonna cast this at level two. Let's see the spell. Okay, what type of damage are you using? Um, I think for this I'd probably want to use what do you think, lightning or thunder? Would thunder. Be, yeah, thunder. Okay, and your goal is to make the wall fall apart, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'll be rolling at level 2, so I get an extra 1d8 for my damage. Okay, I want to attack roll. Okay. Do I get advantage because I'm stealth? <laughs> so you're like <laughs> asking if you get advantage on attacking a wall. Yeah. I mean, you can't proceed. Fucking hurt him. No, <laughs> you do not. Damn it. <laughs> nice try. Okay, so you uh, wave your hands, say the spell, cast your chromatic orb, which is a spear of thunder en energy, and you fling it out the wall, and it bounces off. It doesn't hit the wall? No. What's the fucking wall's AC? Jesus Christ. To the moon. Because that's not my damage roll, that's just an attack roll, right? Right, but it's got a certain AC just like a door has, just like any structure has, right? Mm. So what's the AC on a door? I have no idea. Ten. Okay. Oh, okay. So what would be the stone AC wall. on a brick stone wall? Fifteen. I'd say it's fucking up there. But it's a but crumbling it's not. stone you can't wall. can't miss. Okay, what does the normal stone wall have, Cash? I would say 15. I think it would have damage mitigation. Well, Tris is saying 15. What do you think? I would say a normal stone wall would have 15. Okay, well, I disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair. You're, it's, your, it's your world. I just did it. Well, I was just asking questions, man. You're, you're flinging a spell at a castle. Or, or, or it just went crack and nothing. Well, yeah. it bounced off, right? That's so what I, I said. Bounced off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a fucking BB. Too bad. So he just like talk that up and everything, Cash. And he's like, he knew in his head you weren't. It was gonna let you work. Yeah. Well, okay. Seriously, I mean, <laughs> should I let Cash <laughs> single-handedly take apart a castle with his chromatic orb spell? Only if you <laughs> crit it. Only I mean, if not, not even a crit. I, I mean, wanted to realistically, see if it would... no, only if he would have crit at a castle. Hold on, a, a crumbling castle. Light. And let me let me just say, okay, that that 
that's an attack roll. I would have expected the damage to be the difficulty in taking down that wall. See, I wouldn't think you'd miss the wall. I think you would get a damage roll. Okay, the way... No, the way... No, look it up. The way way structures are destroyed is by AC versus attack. That's how it works. Can we just get in there soon, guys, so I can viciously mock these guys? I mean... (laughs) Well, I I guess, you know, we have to... Agree to disagree. Ellie's saying, 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 Ellie's Two foot tall stick. Oh, Toy I got this. Oh, no, no, no. I got this. Give me your rope. How far, how tall is this building? I don't have rope since last time. Uh, it's it's about 25 to 30 feet. Roll him. Yeah, we roll don't, him. No, you don't need roll to roll him. me. 25 to 30 feet. We don't cool. have a rope, actually. We can I can I strength check throw Hander through that window? You don't yeah. need to. Yes. You don't need to. <laughs> That's a grapple. I can teleport That's a grapple. into the window. Oh, let him try and throw you first. What if I threw you and then you <laughs> touch the windowsill <laughs> and then teleport it into the room? <laughs> yeah, there you go. If he misses, you just teleport, bro. It's good. Oh, no. You, you throw him up and then he does his whiplash, and then while he's coming back down, he grabs the guy down. And I'll call an injury lawyer. <laughs> I call an injury lawyer. <laughs> he would. So, he whatever did. happened to our ropes after we uh, went down we that left fucking him. place? Damn, we wanted to cut them. We Good. left them. <laughs> yeah, we left them there. No, no, it's just I'll always never forget. All right. You're welcome. Zan wanted to cut them. That's true. We, we have no way to... Uh, Get up there. Far whip one of them to us. A moment of silence. You know what? You know what? You I don't what? see them. They're 30 feet up now. Guys, you could throw you up, and then you just have to time your. Th- you don't your... need to throw me. I could teleport hey, into the window. I'm going to face step up there. Do it. No balls. At least somebody's Fine. got balls. I'm doing it too. I'm no, you're not. Nope. Up. There's only room for one. I'm yeah, hurling I'm, another gonna... fucking... I'm hurling another orb. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, I think, you I know, Azeroth is rather kind of, and then, you know, Pinecone's very small, so I think they could both fit in the windowsill simultaneously. Too. Okay, uh, so Azeroth, what are you doing? I'm face-stepping into the room that they're in. Okay, and ping it one more time for me. I'm going to face-step right there. Okay. And uh, away you go. Woo, look at that. Whoa, damn. I think Pinecone was coming with me. Yeah, I missed he stepped into there. Okay, ping where you're landing. Briefly surrounded by a silvery mist. All right, Pinecone you teleports. cannot land there because there's a creature. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to ping, I'm gonna ping where you can. Yeah. I can, I'll go there. Okay. Cool. And combat has begun. Roll initiative. Hold on, Ander. All right. Um, you tell me when. All right. Roll initiative. Oh, shit. God damn it. Can I add my inspiration to that? Uh, yeah. What do I roll? Wait. Uh, I believe so, right? Let's let's look that up. Isn't it a D uh, one D four? on an attack roll, saving throw, or ability check. Son of a bitch. It's 
So that's a no. That is a no. All right, so here we go. Let me start combat. I got such a high goddamn initiative bonus, but I roll a fucking five. Tristra. I'd like to misty step. The fuck? Well, I can't. Okay. You have messy step? No, I was just kidding. Oh. I was about to say, you have uh, Fey touched? It's about Ooh. 40 feet up, Arcane. Uh, what is climbing? Uh, climbing will be a agility check. Oh, cash didn't roll. So I technically can make it into that window sill to right here. Cash uh, you know, roll. I, I don't have a roll from cash or pinecone. What's your initiative? Yeah. Roll. How the fuck did my? Ooh. I have a nine. I see pine cone. Yeah, nine. Have you been rolling from the um, combat tracker? Uh? Yeah, click... but it's always worked. If you click the two swords and then do the dice that's above your picture that way, that's how I do it. Yeah, there's that, or like on the top right hand corner, there's a hand. Because you how people turn. Fist. Yeah, the fist, that's what you, we would do. Just, I'll show your name and you click it. Did you just say Ubu? So, are you with the amount of footage, footage there? And what can I make this spot? Ubu. <laughs> uh, you're going to climb through the arrow slit? Is that a crent? I mean, I didn't know. I, I don't think you can make it through the arrow slit. Well, the, they, so they yeah, missed you step through an arrow slit? Yep. It's magical transportation. If they have line of sight, they can do it. 40 feet in the air. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> he said 30 or 40 feet. Line of sight. Dude, okay. I love that. I love that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. Yep. This is a fantastical world, you know, Bob. You know, you and, <laughs> Ca you and Cash need to go play D&D &D by ourselves and bitch at each other. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting to him, guys. I'm sorry, I can't. I love you. I mean, I can't even move, so I would progress my turn. The best DM. I just don't know all the. You rules. gotta tell me what you're doing. Come on, I'm Chris. gonna move. Where? I don't know. I can't see my move. That's move an arrow slit. Line. Line. And it's move. just move. You said you were gonna fly through, through the arrow slit. Explore this. Fly through the arrow slit. All right. So you're if, out of the fight. Is that what you're doing? It's an go through one, the I'm main really entrance. Glad let's, you just, didn't throw me. entrance. let's just go through the main entrance and find more mobs. <laughs> Again, I, moving is hard here. Okay, so I did, evidently you can't move at all to the west or east. Yeah, you can't. No. Well, I mean, yeah, you can go in the woods and like fuck can't off. Like, can't like crawl <laughs> like this or. No, that no, you can't. Like I decided, I thought maybe you could, but no. No, that's just. That's just rubble. That's 40, so the it's stairs, 40 the front tall, stairs, rubble. right? Everybody, we're running for the front stairs. All right, and I'm gonna hit dash. I swear to God, I'm not gonna get to vicious mockery tonight. There, thank you. I charge as I bitch at the gods. Ellie. Oh. Are you dashing? Dash. Do it. So like 35, how many, how many do I get to move? Uh, I thought it was 30. Yeah, 30 feet. Fuck, I have to look up the rules. Oh, so I have to distance. move another 30 feet with dash. So. Yes. Ah, uh, up to 60 feet. There we go. Okay, gotcha. So I went there. Can I jump from here up that stair or do I have to go all? all... Uh, yeah, but uh, let's see. Your strength is 11, so you can jump 11 feet. Two squares. Oh, it says attempted token can't go.
go that way, so maybe I have to go around. My bad. Well, I'll drag you if that's where you want to Don't go. Don't worry. I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing my right math right from where I started. So right there, that's where sure. I can go? Sure, that's fine. Okay, so can I see this guy from there? You do... I mean, I can see him, so like, do you I have do line see of sight? Him. Yeah, you do have line of sight. Aha! Phew, here we go! Basically mock that motherfucker! Please don't block, please don't block, please don't block. Ah! I will get you. Just wait and see. All right. Uh, DC 15. Yes, he blocked it. Right? Let's find out. Saving throw normal. No. Does not save. Oh, that was initiative roll. Ah, I thought that was a saving throw roll. Wee! All right, you ready for this one? There once was a maiden from Mud Pit Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow. I'd play my loot, and she liked to sit on the maiden from Mud Pit, who was also your mom. <laughs> who said that? Uh, you don't wondering know my mom. if that disc would get me a crit damage roll, but I, I guess the gods were not pleased. All right, you got anything else, Ellie? <laughs> yes, I'm looking to see who's up next. Um, how far is my... 60 feet? Then I would like to give uh, Zandora my Bardic Inspiration. And then I shall end my turn. Okay, the uh, Hobgoblin that's in front of you, Pinecone, attacks you. Startled. Let them come. That you just materialized in front of them. <laughs> and that's a miss. Fuck's the orc. So uh, the orc runs out from the doorway. And charges at Trist. Q. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Vera, you're up. True. I should move to here. And then to here. And then I'm gonna check a fireball at this idiot. Okay. That guy there. You need a uh, soundboard key that sounds like a grenade launcher going off. I shoot fireballs. That's a miss. Okay, I'm gonna stay here and cry. Cry. Alright, as a fireball flies to the orc, he definitely dodges it. <laughs> what? Who? Hmm? What?
Another Hobgoblin attacks you, Pinecone, and the hits. Oh, fuck. Ooh. And he gets martial advantage. Damn, dude. 17 points of damage. So he swings and Twiggy tries to block the blade. But Why's Twiggy gotta fucking be involved? Well he's got that big ass club on his crotch, bro. Like That's, I mean you're right. <laughs> he can he can protect you, man. <laughs> but he missed because he's Twiggy and he's got like too heavy of a rod between his legs and uh the weapon hits you in the spine. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, Dan, you're up. All right, so how tall is this wall, you said? Uh, to the top, it's about 30 feet. To the window slip, probably about 25 feet. What is 17 feet uh, strength? Would jump? Um, let's, clear cat. let's see, 5, 10. Well, where are you jumping to, Zam? Okay, let me move uh, here. Let me move my character like right at the edge. Yeah. So I would jump. Straight up? Yeah, up uh, wherever there's not a, a guy at. I'm assuming. Okay, there's only a window Angel. slit, so you can't get through it. It's like a, it's like a arrow <laughs> slit. Okay, so it's not. So for it's, arrows. It, oh, it's inside a building, not on top of it's the tower. It's for protecting the castle. You know, they shoot arrows out the window, the the arrow slits. Yes, yes, yes. But can't I jump on top of the edge of the other pieces, or is that just? Oh, like on the roof. Yeah, or is there, or is there a wolf no, roof you don't have, on it? No, you don't have enough strength to do that. How tall is that if I double it? If you double your strength? Uh, let's I see. Double the height. 30... Well, it's gonna... Four feet? Okay, yeah. so it's not gonna do it now. It's not gonna do it. Never. I mean, you could try. Nah, probably won't work. Because I can uh, do Step of the Wind and it will double the height of my jump. But if that's just not in the room, if that's like on top, of, if that's a roof that's on top of that building, I couldn't tell if that was inside the building. I thought you were just talking about it was in. Uh... Never mind. Well, I'll just I'll just uh, run up and attack this orc fortress. Is. I'll just go around. Right Hey, can, can you put me like right here? So right, there we go. I'll use my movement at that point. And then I'm gonna, I'll just do. Uh... This is what I should have done last time. I can was. I get to do three, I think, um, so I'll do my main, I'll do flurry bolt, yeah, so I'll do flurry bolt blows on the ore. That's a hit. All right, damage. Okay. And then uh, I will do an arm strike. That's it.
And then I will use one key point to also do I think I did that backwards, didn't I? Yeah, I was supposed to take do well, whatever. Either way, I'll just do uh... the yeah, suspense is killing us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to do two uh, unarmed strikes and then okay. my bonus used a key point for Let's the. Let's get an attack roll. Okay. Another attack roll. Uh, that's a hit. And damn it. All right, still alive, but barely. All right, I go up and around and this. Do a double punch on the shoulder for some reason. <laughs> like a, a shoulder tap to distract him. And then I try to rip his dick out of the pants, but it didn't work because he didn't die. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I will end my turn. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> All right, back to the tower and uh, Azeroth and Pinecone being Rambo style merkin people. Okay, <laughs> the uh, Hobgoblin is going to attack Azeroth. Come at me, you fucking hellboy wannabe. Uh, I, think he's coming at <laughs> I think he's coming at you, bro. Thirteen. Fucking martial advantage. And he hacks and he slashes and cuts some of your hair off. Not my hair. You're going to fucking pay for that. All right, and now we're going back downstairs. And another work runs out and runs here and swings at Ellie. I know Trist. You ready? After this one. That's a miss. Okay, go ahead, Tris. That's a hit. And you have reach, right? Oh, no, no, no. If, uh, no, I don't have reach. Oh, I thought that you the did. The weapon causes reach. But Hugh doesn't have reach, right? Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Never mind, no, sorry. Okay, uh, we'll move on, and the bugbear chief sees what's going on around him and yells, intruders, into the hall behind him. And then he runs out. And swings his morning star. At Trist. Hooey, hooey. And it just bounces off your shoulder plate. And it gets all it sad. Do that. It goes... But he does have multi attack, so he's going to make one more attack. About time with metal level five. And this <laughs> <is> again. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna move on to Ezra. So as I look at that hobgoblin that struck me with his blade, I pull up 
the sleeve of my fucking jacket and you see a skeleton tattoo on my arm and as you look at it, as I look at it, the skeleton it's enveloped in a cloud of fog and mist as I'm going to activate my ghost step tattoo. Nice. <clears throat> In doing so, uh, the tattoo has three charges. I use one charge. This is a bonus action. While I activate the tattoo, I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. I cannot be grappled or restrained. I can move through creatures and solid objects as if they were difficult terrain. Okay. So as, as, as I activate the tattoo, I transform into this ethereal invisible-ish looking like the like the fucking matrix albino ghost twins oh yeah okay just smack my bitch up start playing or something yeah excellent and as I transform like that the, the I... mill ability like milli ability fucking <laughs> milli vanilli <laughs> milli of, yeah a little bit. those guys are black though aren't they uh, that's racist I mean I'm totally <laughs> racist are you saying they put on white face and became I don't want to get into it all right, but as I activate that tattoo and transform like that, I pass through this hobgoblin. Yeah. This hobgoblin. And then I will strike him with my vicious rapier. Okay. That is 13 hit. It is a miss. Okay, so as I pass through him and slash with my rapier, I look at him and go, Ooh, motherfucker. Try to scare him and shoot him with my crossbow. He goes, Whoa. Oh, fuck. I can't use my crossbow with my tattoo as a bonus action. God damn it. So next turn. All right. Then I will end my turn. Okay, so other orcs are running out the door now and heading for the other stair. That was a dash. All right, this orc attacks Pinecone. Well, fuck, okay. As he barges into the room. That's a miss. All right, Pinecone, you are up. Okay. 
cast Thunder Wave. Oh, that's just the damage. Shit. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the damage, and they have to make a uh, constitution save of 14 for half damage. And let me put it... Okay, so that's in every direction around you. Not... No, there's a cone, but... It's a 15-foot cube. Pew. Did you place it? it? Yeah. Oh, I don't see it. Can we recast that? Hold on. Well, you just tell me. So you're kidding everything around you, right? Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, it doesn't say if that would affect you at all. It will. All right. DC 14. Constitution. Uh, I got to roll that too, don't I? No, no, you're not in it. Oh, okay. Okay, so none of them saved. And that second hobgoblin critted, so I'm gonna do a roll for him. And he loses one HP. So okay. I'm gonna faint. Wait, why does that spell affect you if it's coming from you? Because it doesn't say anything on the details about it. It's a thunderous force that sweeps out from him yeah if it sweeps out from him then it wouldn't affect him though because it's coming out from him mm, that's a good point uh, you know what yeah because why, would a, spell, think it why would, would a spell that he cast always hurt him because he's in i don't know yeah he's like in a closed space though it's like the only thing i'm thinking like i think um it would go out from your body though and not like from yeah, the emanate. core but from like the outside of your body like your aura your magical aura so yeah mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna believe agree with azrath you do not take damage okay and then everybody else takes eight, 18. everybody azrath, you always saving the no right Right, the auric hearing this thunderous sound oh, hold collapses on, hold on. onto the ground. Okay, yeah, I was, I was gonna see how they react first. <laughs> and he dies. Pew, boo, 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 boo. All right, got anything else? Nobody else. All right, cool. Um, and here's the fun part. Time for the fun part. <laughs> I'm now a wolf. All right, you take up like half the room there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna be sitting here tanking the damage for the rogue. I'm gonna be a wolf. Then they all attack me. And I let out a gigantic howl. And that's my turn. Okay. 
Okay, uh, this is a pretty big fight uh, we got going on here. Plus, we got more to explore. So let's call it right there, guys. So good run. And uh, we'll reconvene next week. Or actually, point of order, I have to work next Saturday. Okay. I will not be available. So two weeks from now. God damn, that fucking sucks. Wow. Lars. Have you thought about changing jobs to fit better around our D&D schedule? I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> this is like the sole reason why I want to change. <laughs> well, you play it. Trust me, me and all the other drivers have been struggling and trying and fighting to not have to work Saturdays, and, and it's a slow process. I feel you, dude. You should have seen how shocked the kids were when I informed them that when they start working, there's a pretty good possibility that they're not going to have Saturday and Sunday off, or that they may not have two days off next to each other. And they were like, what? <laughs> Yeah, bro, that's never guaranteed. Yeah, no. 